Are we on? There we go. I just realized that all... I swear. Uh, give me a second. Windows did an update today, so therefore... Um, all of my audio is messed up. It's not pulling anything. Um, give me a second here. Uh, we are going to be... Uh, I'll show it in a second. We are going to be building... Not a Lego set, but a Mega Constructs, uh, one of their um, new Halo. Uh, apparently, you can only get these at Target, apparently. Um, so I got this in the mail today. Uh, we're going to build it. Um, we've done a few Lego build streams on here. We've done the wonderful Saturn rocket. Um, we've done the ship in a bottle. Um, my daughter and I actually were going to stream building the International Space Station, but we never had time to do it, so we just built it. It happens. Um, I'm going to try, is there like a good, we're going to give, um, we're going to give Pretzel Rocks uh, a little listen to while we're building this. Just because I don't want there to be a lot of dead air. Um, get all this set up. Uh, so this should be a lot of fun. I When I first saw this set come out, it was this one and another one. Uh, I was pretty stoked. Um, and I was I was going back and forth on whether or not I wanted to buy it or not. Um, we're going to... We ended up buying it. Um, actually, I got jealous because... Um, it's been like my kids' birthdays the past couple of weeks, and they've been getting a bunch of Lego stuff, and so I was like, I want Lego stuff. So I bought, uh, so I bought myself a little something. Uh, let's go ahead and switch to this scene. So here we go. Uh, we've got the Halo. See it? The Halo Infinite uh, Mega Construct Mega Constructs. It's Mega Blocks. I guess Mega Constructs is like, I don't know what I don't know what that means. Um, it says it's for pro builders, so we're gonna see how this goes. Uh, this is our first solo build, um, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and get it open. Um, hope everyone's having a lovely. There's that 36 month resub. Uh, at this point, I don't know which subs you are giving, Squishy. <laughs> I don't know if it's the current sub, or if it's the resub, or if it's the resub of the resub. Uh, but yeah, we're going to build this tonight. I got this in the mail today. Actually kind of pumped. Oh, we building. This came in the mail for me today. Uh, so I have not even, I have not even opened the box. I don't know what to expect. Uh, this, when I saw this, I was like... I don't know if Halo Infinite is going to be good or not, but this is a legit good, appears to be a good set. So I went ahead and bought it. Hopefully, uh, I've never built anything from Mega Blocks. Um, I think I, like years ago, I got like a free, cheap Halo one that was like five pieces. This is the resub running out date. Okay. <laughs> I just saw on the bot on this package of uh... so these are the other two that I really want this helmet and the uh... which like this is a legit like almost complete rip off of something that Lego's doing which I guess is Mega Bloks as a whole um, I kind of want this sword too I don't know how big this sword is though puts everything from the box They've had the Halo license forever. I don't know how they got it. I don't know if Lego just didn't want it or... I think it was kind of the time when... I feel like when Lego was kind of a little... I mean, Lego's never been like on the down downward slope. But I feel like there wasn't a lot of like cool Lego stuff coming out. Like it was really still geared toward kids. Um, I don't know. I don't know why Mega... Like they've had it and they've never lost it. I've been surprised. Alright, here's bag one. That's a lot of... 
The box says pro builders. I don't know what, I don't know if that means only pro builders can build it. But I figure after doing the uh, the Saturn rocket, the ship in the bottle, and the International Space Station, I, I feel like that puts me in a puts me in good territory. So I'm gonna turn this. There, I'm gonna turn that. Oh, yeah, okay. There we go. I was gonna turn the monitor off in front of me. It was giving me like a weird blue tint. Let's, let's move these bags off to the side. One of these bags was not numbered. This bag is not numbered. I don't know what that means. I also don't know what the difference between mega blocks and mega constructs is. Too bad this is an average builder stream. That's true. Pro build the pro builder is asleep right now, so we're gonna we're gonna try our best to get as far along as possible. Um, okay, so this, what is that bag I just said? This bag. So <laughs> this says to go, I don't know if you can see this, it says bag with orange line down it and bag one and two. I'm not sure why they didn't call it, just put a one on this one instead of an orange bag and one. That seems... Seems kind of weird. Also, like, I'm always afraid to open these bags. Like, it's just going to explode everywhere. With all this building y'all are doing, maybe time to invest. Uh, so, I have tried to convince Amber for... Uh, at least... I can't remember if I started it last year or this year. Since, like, Jacob's really getting into Legos. Of moving all of their Lego stuff upstairs and back in this corner like making like a big Lego building area for them. However, uh, she likes her Legos in her room. I can't falter, they're her Legos. I said it's up to her. Um, let's see how long it lasts because they're starting to both like do a lot of Lego builds and play a lot of Lego stuff. Like they literally, this is back there on the table. Uh, like they, <laughs> they both bought the exact same Minecraft Lego set with their birthday money. <laughs> because she wanted it to. And it had like, I guess it had certain Minecraft Lego things that she didn't have or something. So, I need to turn this uh, Destiny 2 extension off. Is the Destiny 2 one showing? It's showing on my preview, but I think it's actually not live because I'm not playing. But yeah, I'm I'm curious of how, how long it's gonna take because she's already like she keeps joking about like turning this like uh attic room over here that's really small into a Lego area, and I'm like, I don't think you understand what that's gonna take. I know, right? That's what I keep telling her. I was like, if you combine them all together, like, putting them like... Okay, okay, good. It's showing on my on my preview in the dashboard that the that the Destiny 2 thing is running, and I, I assume that it wasn't. Um, no, not the title. The, is the Destiny Twitch extension running over the video? That's what I can't tell. Um, but I keep telling her, like, if you combine... Because he doesn't have a ton yet. And so, like, she kind of gave him some of hers... All right, so I need, so I just need to, I guess I just need to empty bags, bags of orange stripe one and two. Yeah. I need to push this keyboard back a little bit. That's what I keep telling her. Okay, good. I, I kept, I was like, she's like, oh, no, you just put like a light in there and some tables. And I was like, there's no air in there. <laughs> I mean, I know, like, our family generally likes warmer rooms than most people. I think that might be pushing it a little bit. Those, good things those don't blend right into the mouse pad. 
the apples. I'm try I keep trying to push her on it. Ooh, nice. The problem is right now is there she's kind of running out of room to store her Legos. Because she's got a ton just that she's collected over the years. The problem is like Jacob doesn't have a lot. So he has like I think the Lego sets he got this year were the first I think that's the first ones he's ever actually owned himself. Because Amber gave him some of hers to use. I think I think only so he would leave hers alone. <laughs> I'm pretty confident that's the only reason. Um, so he got he got two Star Wars Legos, like little small box Lego sets, and then he bought. Uh, he was the first one to find this Minecraft Lego set. And it was like a freaking $60 Lego set. And it wasn't that big. Like, Minecraft's getting paid. Um, and then uh, Amber went about the same thing. So he has a Minecraft one and a couple of Star Wars ones. I have not... Uh, I Is that the place that's out... Um, is it like on Highway 64? There's a Lego store that's kind of... I don't know if it's like in Bartlett or Lakeland. They apparently need to turn these over this way. Well, that's kind of cool. I like this. They actually like kind of... I don't know if you can tell or not. Like here? They like tell you where the Lego pieces... Like they highlight where it goes. That's kind of nice. Oh, over there. I haven't. I may have to go check it out. So there's a Lego store, or it used to be there, I guess it's still there, that used to be out on House 64. Right, this isn't the right one. These definitely don't feel like Legos. They definitely feel like cheaper Legos, but like, crap ton of board games. Hmm. I need to look at that. Uh, this one goes here. Yeah, I saw this set and I was like, I don't... I I, I have actually avoided um, most of the Mega Blocks Halo sets because they're kind of... They look weird. They do board games, D&D, &D, comics, Pokemon and all. Huh. I'll have to go check that out. I didn't know it was over there. Uh, but most of like I don't have I, I have some somewhere in the house, but like I have some of like the Mega Blocks, uh, like Spartans and Master Chief and stuff, and they look they just look weird. It's like they tried I get I mean obviously you can't make them look like Legos. They tried to make them different than Legos, and it just it just didn't work. <laughs> they just look they look they look very weird. All right, so I need. These. Like these don't have like that really good like it definitely feels better quality than I remember Mega Blocks being, but it definitely doesn't have that like really smooth feeling that Legos has. I don't even know how I have music playing. I don't even know how how loud the music is, I can't really tell. You can even hear it or not. That's cool. There used to be um, there used to be a really good place down in uh, Midtown that had a bunch of like board game nights and stuff. Um, those are kind of becoming a dying breed. There was a really cool one I went to in Nashville years ago. That's actually where I bought. Uh, I think it was Batman Love Letter and uh, Machi Koro. I think it was just those two. And they had like a really cool uh, board game set up in the back. So I just do this all the way around. Yep. I feel like at the rate I'm going, like this is going to take all night. Two piecer. Seems weird.
Music seems very... I picked the ambient playlist. This seems really weird. Let's see what else we got. We'll go with upbeat. That's very low. That's a little too upbeat for me. Hmm, that's pretty cool. I don't think I ever knew that existed over there. Is that the one? So, like, what you're saying is over there, there's, like, sports clips and, uh, there's, like, a pizza place in the corner and Bartlett Tires back there. Like, is that the $2 theater you're talking about? Flip it over. There's a Nintendo playlist. So I have, I'm running Pretzel. It's a thing called Pretzel Rocks. And it's like DRM free, or DRM, yeah. DMCA free music. Which usually means it's, some of it's not very good. Yeah, yeah, that one. Huh. All right, uh, are those in here? Yep. Trying to, you know, trying not to get my, uh, I didn't want there to be like dead air while I was doing this, so, and I definitely don't want my channel to get taken out. The Let's Play is a Nintendo playlist. <laughs> I have to, I wonder if I can search for it. It has like a bunch of stations. I wonder if he's like made his own playlist. We'll do chill music. That's where I got the binder for cards. Wow, that's it's nice. I may just have to go there and look at it. Oh, he plays it on Spotify. Yeah, I'm trying to. Trying not to get sued by the record cover, <laughs> by the record labels. <laughs> yeah, this this set was by far the best that I've seen. Uh, the best I've seen Mega Blocks do. Hopefully that hopefully this is like an upper turn for them. Cause like Lego's making some awesome stuff, but holy crap is their stuff like getting expensive. Especially the like the Lego idea stuff. Like they released a, a a legit it was awesome. It was like a working um It was a working Lego piano. Like, it was probably about this wide, so about this tall. And it played, like, it played with the, like, you would put your iPhone on it, and it would play the, <clears throat> it would play the music with the key. It was, it was crazy. <clears throat> it sold out in, like, as soon as it went live. And it was, like, 300 bucks, three 400 bucks, something like that. And then the Nintendo thing, like, I want that, like, the NES thing so bad. But it's freaking... Just to buy it from Lego is like, I think it was like $200, $300. I was like, I like these cool Lego builds, but man, y'all gotta, y'all gotta calm down a little bit. I don't know where this flat, it's like a skinny flat piece. And it's like tiny. There's probably one of them in this entire pile. The only thing that kind of frustrates that pretzel is the free version, like post the songs in your chat, which isn't terrible. It is, it is kind of annoying. Uh, I guess this is it. Okay, so this is, I saw this piece. Is this 
Yep. I won't have to like polish this thing once I'm done because I'm getting fingerprints all over it. I have wanted to like if I keep if I keep doing these Lego builds, I kind of want to get like a white mat to lay down here while I'm doing Lego stuff because these pieces get lost so much on this thing. All right, golly, this is going to take forever just getting the platform done. Not even remotely started on the ring part. It's really annoying. I really can't tell like how loud like I feel like the music is at a pretty decent decent volume, but on pretzel it's the volume is at three <laughs> percent. I feel like that's a little inaccurate. All right. Enjoy your uh, enjoy your your vacation or your short vacation in, in Kentucky. Thanks for that resub of the resub, the, the actual expiring resub, something like that. One of the resubs. Hopefully we will have an update tonight of the Lego set being completed. Is that... These pictures are, some of them are kind of rough. Figure out what the actual piece that I need is. I do like that they literally like show you colors of where the Lego pieces go in. Like I, I, I do really like that a lot. That is a, that is a cool addition, Mega. I will accept that. Because, uh, I mean, I haven't had, I don't have huge issues with that with Lego, like nowhere pieces go, but like there is still sometimes you're like, where does this go? <laughs> so I like that. I forgot to put a piece right here. I, I forgot two pieces and last up. Yeah, so like, so my, my daughter got um, the International Space Station for her birthday from Mr. Squish. He was just in here. And, uh, we were we had actually planned to stream it, um, but my son got some Star Wars Legos for his birthday, and he was putting them together. I'm pretty confident she just got jealous because he was having fun putting new Legos together. <laughs> so she just wanted to start doing it. So we just did it on our own. Uh, it was a pretty cool build too. I really liked it. Like came out. It looks it looks really well. It's sitting in our room right now. I'm glad uh, she is still in a phase in her life that she enjoys doing that. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope it's something she never grows out of. But you never know. As of now, she is loving the Legos. And I think what's cool right now is that um, like she can do Lego stuff that's still really challenging. Okay, I was trying to figure out pieces there. Um, like it's not like she she still enjoy like she still goes in her rooms and like just builds uh, random stuff um, with all the Lego she has. Uh, but because like she oh, oh wait. 
What would it do? I don't know. A very tiny piece just flew and it's... I don't know if it landed on my shorts. Give me a second. I have no idea where this piece went. It's a very, it's a very, very tiny piece, and I have. Oh, did I find it? I found it. Woo! It's like sit. It was in this back. It was like in the crevice of the back of my chair. Hold. Oh, that was close. This was the <laughs> this was the piece I dropped. That was gonna be fun to find. Uh, anyways, like so, she she used to be. She still is uh, really big with the uh in the lego friends stuff um but i like that she is now also like uh getting into the um like real like more difficult legos um because one like it's something like we can do together uh but you can't i don't think you can i don't think you can see it up in this shoulder down Way back there somewhere, they're like her and uh, my son built like this huge Lego Friends like uh, yacht, basically, and it's awesome. Like, I don't think Lego Friends gets the respect it deserves because it's always kind of marketed as like the girly Legos. One to like get girls into Legos, but like they actually, what's cool about them is I feel like they, I don't, I don't know if this is true or not, but I feel like they are given more freedom than like the lego lego stuff um it makes some really cool stuff like it's 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 not uh it's nothing to uh nothing to scoff at because it's a legit some like really good lego sets um but i like to like we're building this rocket back here we built the international space station we did the lego uh the bottle the ship in the bottle but then like um we did, uh, or she wants to do like the treehouse Lego build. Um, she actually like went a couple nights ago. She went downstairs and just started building like a Lego evil underground layer <laughs> without any prompting, and it it looked pretty cool. All right, what pe what piece am I looking for? Oh, I gotta make the piece. Okay. I need like a light that shines like right here. Actually, I may. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna do a little switcheroo here. Cause the light isn't as bright over here and like the way they color the, uh, the black pieces in here, like it's hard to tell like what is what. So we're just gonna switch that real quick. All right, um, let's just move. Let's just move you over here. How about that? Everybody's moving. Everybody's moving. I normally move all this stuff around to different places when we do the Lego builds, and I didn't because it was just going to be me, and so it's still, it's kind of a little more cramped than I normally do it, but this, no, this is much better. Uh, all right. We need very tiny pieces. I think this, this is one of them? The top one? They have, they have made smaller pieces. Ow, hit the, hit the mic with my head. All right, here's one. And then, is this the other one? I think, the, yeah, this is the other one. All right, so this goes, this goes on top of here. Get it on there. And this goes this way. Get on there. Little vent pieces going here. Like, I wonder how careful Mega Blocks has to be with like, like I wonder what kind of copyright stuff uh, Lego has on like their pieces.
This is the east. Go here. Is that right? Yep. This is the one piece I didn't know what it was. This, I guess this is supposed to be a ship. These pieces I wasn't, I weren't, I need to like look into it because I don't know what they are. Maybe it's something with the, uh, with the game. Because like, what's funny is these, <laughs> these were like announced and released and then the game got delayed. <laughs> these definitely had a, a target release around the same time that the game was supposed to be released. And then it was not released. Dude, these are some crazy small parts. Hopefully, it, hopefully I'm not going to need a flashlight before this is all done. Look at these little pieces. Like they're just making up stuff for this build. This one. Yeah, this is why I also like want to get a white mat so you can like see. Like when I build these kind of pieces. Um, this piece. Yes. Sorry, just looking at some real quick. This goes appears to go at an, a slight angle. So we're gonna put it. Oh yeah, because this is this is what holds the ring. Okay. Okay, I got you. I'm, I'm smelling what you're putting down here, Mega. This is one of those little pieces again. One of these. Goes into here. Like that's... These, like, these are the kind of pieces that like don't exist with Lego. I've never seen it, anything like that. It's not the right hook. that one other way so I don't keep looking at it. Literally a piece that looks like this but has a hole in it instead of a bar. There's always that moment of like stress I feel with every one of these builds and I'm like does it have all the pieces? <laughs> I'm probably staring at it. And I just can't see it. Stay over here. Oh, wait. You know what? No, that's the right one. All right, peace. Start separate. This is the, another reason why I want a uh, white bottom, white mat to lay this stuff on. I feel like there's a lot of dark pieces that get lost on this mat. I'm also getting confused because there's also these pieces that have the hand on it, but it's not the one I'm looking for.
I'll go ahead and put these two pieces on so I can actually do something. Because this isn't going anywhere right now. Like, part of me is worried right now. Because this is the other piece. And I don't think there's another... I don't think there's another one of these hooks. So, like, I'm really hoping that right now... I'm not... I'm not done. Because I don't see this other piece that I need. I literally, I literally do not. Because this, this is the same one that I just, this is the same thing. It's got the same bottom part that goes into this thing right here. Chat. Like, what's ultimately frustrating is it's probably here, and I'm probably staring straight at it. Like, I wonder if I'm supposed to do, like, part of me wonders if the instructions are wrong. Because I can do this. I get this piece out. That's like I, I I have not some of you I have not seen this sitting here the entire time. This is kind of cool. Oh, because I can pop these out too. Nice. We're gonna ad lib here, chat a little bit, and see if this will work. Um, the problem is I don't know if this is the right height. I mean, that's what it's supposed to look like. But the instructions tell me something completely different. And I do not, the piece they're showing, I legit, I don't see it anywhere in here. Like this is the only other hand I see and I'm like, I'm like skipping ahead. And I don't see another That's pack three and four. I don't see where there's another hand like that anywhere in the instruction. So we're gonna try this out. Like I can't tell if it looks a little shorter Actually, no, I'm, I'm looking at the. Like, looking at the box. Like, it almost looks like it's supposed to be. I have no idea. <laughs> like, I'm looking at, like, the front picture. And it kind of looks like this part right here. Looks like what I just did. Like, it looks about the same size. But it does, actually, it looks like, it looks like this part. That's crazy. I hope that doesn't like mess up anything. So I'm gonna be pissed if because <laughs> uh, there's legit there's no other part like that in this unless I am just completely blind, which there's a good possibility that I'm just completely blind. But 
We're gonna go with it. We're gonna move on to the next thing. Actually, I need to finish this part right here. I can find the other piece that looks like this. Did I just like knock 18 pieces off? <laughs> Where's the other piece like this? Right here. Goodness gracious. There's, but they're legit. Every Lego build I've, I've built, which is funny, this is the first one that's come this far. And you know what? It's right here in this bag. Should have opened up every bag, War Chant. You know better. Good grief. I caught myself looking at this bag and I did not see it, but it is legit right here. That's the piece I've been looking for this entire time. Just kidding, chat. Uh, we're good. <laughs> How do I get this other piece all out of here? That's an interesting uh, Lego remover, though. I don't know if there's any way that it actually works for this. <gasps> Tiny squeeze. Ugh. All right, we're just gonna <laughs> we're gonna sit this right here. Don't let me forget that it's right here, chat. You can't see us behind the webcam. All right, uh, now where did that piece go that I just at? Right here. All right, let's get one of these again. Let's do this correctly this time. What I needed was this piece to go into this piece. And I couldn't find it, now I got it. All right, back on track. Whew. Makes me feel a little better though. I was kind of concerned there for a second, not gonna lie, that that wasn't gonna work. Is lined up. All right, now we can put our Halo, nice little Halo Infinite plaque on the front. That's pretty cool. Get my dog hair off of it. I'm definitely going to go through this like with a cloth or something because there's fingerprints. I don't know if you can even see it with the light. You can see it right there. There's fingerprints all over that thing. All right. Finally made it past that part. Let's build something else. All right, I need one of these, it looks like. Let's say which way to. This way. I guess there's just this one color of it. That's the only reason I didn't want to open up this bag because there are a bunch of tiny, tiny parts in there. Look at that right there. And they, I feel like they need to like work on the, the uh, color of the black printout and thing. I got old eyes, Mega. Let's go. Come on now. Help me out a little bit. These are not the right ones. These. Got these. 
There's definitely some interesting pieces they got going on here. Done. Oh, I was about to say, this is what I was really confused because it said like all like times for each piece. You have to build this three times. I was really, really confused there for a second. I am bound and determined to lose one of these black pieces. The easiest things to lose and they're just flinging out of my hands. piece on there. There we go. There's literally like the difference in these pieces is one goes up and one goes down. Man, I was considering playing Tony Hawk when I got done with this thing, but I actually take all night. Number two. going down. Apparently there's a lot more than, there we go, a lot more than they go up than go down. Sort of like every five minutes you start panicking because you can't find a piece. <laughs> Wouldn't be a build without it. All right. Now we need two of these. But this on top. Ah, it goes in the middle. Okay. Not there. Can't put, okay. Got to get my old eyes out. We'll put these on first because that'll help me know where 
go down too. That goes there, which means these go don't think it's possible to do what this is asking me to do. Oh. Oh. It is. Just kidding. We're back. I didn't realize this part right here had a hole in it. Get in there. There you go. Looks like a little, like, robot with arms. <laughs> it's like one of those uh, batteries not included robots. That's what it looks like. It literally looks like from batteries not included. All right, so we did that three times. If I could find the pieces. Excuse me. Now I'm really like ready to be back in a time where I can like cough and sneeze without immediately panicking. <laughs> Remember that? Remember that time in life? Those were good times. Two down. Probably do me a lot of good if I actually like separate these out a little better. Start clumping things together. I think the only reason why they put Pro on this thing is because there's so many tiny pieces to try and find. Am I, am I blind again? I'm trying to find this piece again. Right in front of me. Blindness confirmed. Not the right one. <clears throat> Hope everyone out there is having a great, uh, had a great, had, and is still having a great Saturday. Um, dude, mine was actually pretty relaxed. Didn't do much anything. Play a little bit of video games. 
Uh, do anything else? Watched uh, watched the show. We've my wife and I have gotten into watching Holy Moly, uh, which is way funnier. I remember seeing commercials for it, but it is actually way 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 funnier than I actually thought it was gonna be. Man, Mega, y'all gotta like up the the brightness on the printout over here by like a lot. Is there a group of four of these that I'm like missing? No. Take this. Oh, I see. Okay. They just made it look really weird in the instructions. <clears throat> I'm gonna lose it. I will lose a piece tonight. Confirmed. That is that is a given right now. How this is going? Oh, that's cool. That's cool, Mega. And that gives it like so they they put these together to make a row. And it actually it actually puts it like not flush with the bottom. That's cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, then we do this here. This here. That's pretty neat. I'm curious, and now I'm curious how that comes out, or like what that's actually going to be. First. Ready to get to some Halo rings. We're actually, we're actually pretty close to finishing this bag. I don't know how many... Actually, this is the last part for this bag. That's not what I meant to do. Pull it apart. Get it apart. I want. Yeah. Swear. I want you come off. What the heck? Don't feel like this should be this difficult for this piece to come off. There we go. Not, is not the right piece. <laughs> Incorrect, sir. Ugh. Or I just did it backwards. Wait. 
That's just not the right piece. Not right at all. There we go. Alright, got three of those down. Now these appear to be three of the reverse of that. I'm assuming. Come on. That's the, that's the thing that's... I, I mean, they're just different, obviously. Did I do it again? This is... The, they have pieces that are very similar to each other. And I keep choosing the wrong ones. Um, the, the main thing I've noticed the difference between this... Like the Mega... Const, mega Constructs set between like a lego set is like i don't know lego definitely has like a better like snapping into like where it needs to go i feel like than this set does it's not a bad set i'm not saying it's bad um that's where like right now i'm feeling like the difference in quality but it definitely feels better than other mega constructs or just mega blocks ones i've done in the past at least that's a step in the right direction for him. I say. Because I, I mentioned earlier, like I've kind of avoided some of the Halo Mega Block stuff in the past. Um, I guess like one because like I didn't, I didn't really see like a need for him because they. Uh, like I didn't like the quality that much of like how some of the the uh, characters looked. I still don't really, but uh, I also felt like the other ones were very much like you build these, just fine. This is because Lego has the same ones. Like I feel like the, even some of the new ones they've released, like you build these to play with them as a toy. Like that's what it felt like a lot of the other Mega Bloks builds were in there um that piece is actually bent it's not good um but like with this one there we go like this felt like it's it's like the the saturn rocket back here like i'm gonna display this probably like literally right here when i'm done with it and like that's what I'm kind of looking for when I look for even Lego stuff that I want to build right now is like some of the ones that end up as toys are awesome and still really cool builds but that's not just not really what I'm in the market for so I'm glad that like they came out with this set like I'm still like really tempted uh, I probably won't do it soon if I do, but I'm still really tempted to do at least the Master Chief helmet one. I need to. I want to see the sword because there's an injury sword one too. Like I want to actually see it, uh, like what it actually looks like before I buy that one, especially like the size of it. Because I don't know if I want a sword that size or not. I don't know where I put it. The helmet one doesn't seem that big. Like it seems very similar to the. Uh, I can't remember what they're called, like the Lego head sets from that they have of like, I think Bubba Fett has one, there's a Stormtrooper one. All right, we have finished those three. We have three of these, three of these, three of these, three of these. I think we are done with bag one, bag orange stripe one, two, and three. Let's find bags three and four. Let's move these pieces. I think these are all extras. Put these right here. 
These show up later. I know that much. So we're going to leave them right there for now. Three and four. Three and four over here. At least, still a lot of tiny parts. Uh, at least, it appears that there is somewhat a mixture of color with this one. We get to build. Well, actually, we're gonna build one of the. I just realized we're gonna build one of like the little Halo pieces. You know, I was. I, I can't even. I can't even explain to you how excited I was when I saw the, when they released this. I actually went. I went to Target because all of these are Target exclusive. Um, I don't know why Target exclusive, uh, but good for Target, I guess. Um, but I actually did not see this one in the store. Uh, like I went to this, I went to the store. To, uh, legit, I went to the store to look for my kids' birthday stuff to see if there's any Lego stuff there that they might want. Um, and I did look for this in the store, but it was not there. Oh, that's cool. Look at this like water piece. It's like painted, like like ocean water painted. I thought something was wrong with it. It's actually got like. Water streaks painted through it. Alright, All right, so we take. Ooh, we're taking the stuff we just made. Um, so we take one of these. Looks like it goes here. Maybe. Possibly. Right there. Going. Oh, oh. it, it went back one. Oh. It's legit just not going in here. Uh, Lego piece, I'm gonna need you to go in right here. Not right there. Right there. Oh, okay, it does go right here. It looks flush, that's funny. Okay, it does go back one. You were right, you were right. This goes on the opposite side. Okay, this goes where I was. Wait. This way, probably should have it the right direction. go all right then facing this direction this one goes This one goes this way.
mean this one. Also, okay, this one goes this way. Okay, okay. There we go. We're getting it. We getting it. I'll probably do. I'll make sure I keep the front, keep the same ones together. There we go. Line you guys up right here, since now I know how you are going to be used. <clears throat> oh, sweet. They painted all of them. Like, they painted them, like, dirt color. And, like, they even... That's pretty sweet. I like that. And that's where, like, I guess, like, Mega can do, like, kind of different stuff. Because even, like, this piece is painted. Pretty neat. I need this piece first. This is painted with dirt, but it is not. Sure, I'm getting all the right pieces here. It looks like some of these are painted, some of them aren't. So I want to make sure that I'm doing all the right ones. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this one made it out without getting painted, but that's okay. I'm just going to separate these out a little better than I had the last ones. These different colors. Appear to be. That's, I think this is the piece I was looking for. That's yeah, the same color. <clears throat> it has like a darker color here. And I'm, I'm going to assume that this is the piece they're talking about. That's the only one that looks a little different. Dude, what's up, Mr. Kevin? Uh, we definitely building tonight. We have started on our... We've got our base done here. We've got... We're starting on our first... First section of the Halo ring. How you doing, Mr. Kevin? Hope you hope you're having a good Hope you're having a good, good Saturday. Yeah, I got this in the mail today. I was like, I gotta build it. I gotta build it. Dude, it does look sick, doesn't it? Like I I saw like I'm I i have not like I've I've been mentioning a, a handful of times on the stream so far, like I've never been a huge fan of Mega Blocks just in general. Um, and I've gone back and forth on the Halo sets that they've released over the past couple years. Um, not that even they have been bad, but I've never really wanted them because a lot of them have been like, build a Lego set and now it's a toy. And I like this because it's it's like the Saturn rocket and the ship in a bottle thing we built. Like this is like, this is something you set out and admire. Like that's why I was like really stoked when I saw this build pop up. Like, this is what I want. Oh, the pieces are crazy. <laughs> the 
Yeah, I've been really enjoying building like display stuff. Um, my daughter and I built the. Um, she got the International Space Station for her birthday from her aunt and uncle. And we were gonna stream it, but she got impatient, so we just went ahead and built it. It looks it looks awesome. Piece goes here. Yeah, I think so. Like, what's funny is she got the International Space Station, and uh, we le had legit talked about like we're gonna stream this. She was really excited about streaming it again, and then uh, like her her and her brother's birthday are like my my daughter and son's birthday are literally like two weeks apart from each other. So my my mom and stepdad were over giving the kids their birthday presents, and my brother got two Star Wars Lego sets, and. Um, so he started building them, and I think she got jealous because he was having fun building Legos, and so she went and got her the International Space Station, and we just started building it right there. I thought it was kind of funny. Because she had no intention of building that thing until... The kit looks like it's totally worth the price. Are you talking about this one? This one was only like 25 bucks. Like that, I bought that Saturn rocket. Uh, actually, get back. I bought the ship in a bottle set. Yeah, the space station price is. It's an awesome build. It's pricey. It looked. It was. It was really the 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 Saturn rocket one back here that we did is actually was actually a little bit more difficult. It had a lot more pieces. The rocket one did. So luckily, we had already kind of done that one. It's not what I wanted to. Um, but it came out looking really, really awesome. I'm going to get this piece out. Without flinging it across the room. There we go. Yo, what's going on? Yeah, that one came out really cool. Uh, the, the Saturn Rocket when we finally finished it. Back here. I don't know if you can see it. That Lego set. We finally finished that whole thing. It's actually almost as tall as my son. And I had I originally had it sitting here, but I couldn't fit the top on it. <laughs> so I had to rearrange myself so I could lay it out. What's crazy is the rocket one even came with these little like builds as well, like little tiny things. When I saw this one, I was like, I've got I've gotta have it. These, these are some, like, what's crazy about these, these are, like, legit, feel like, 100% custom cut pieces. Those are, like, little tiny, like, hills and stuff. Oh, that's, this piece came off right here. I wonder where that piece came from. All right. Got this. This is correct. I need this piece. I've been sweating every time I see someone post a box of the old dude. That thing is. I thing's like it. Like I looked that up. I mean, I have no intention of buying it. I think it was like a. I saw it for a thousand dollars on Amazon the other day. Like I wish I had gotten it like when it came out. That thing is insane though. That thing is legit, just massive. I don't know. I, I would. Like, I don't know where I would put it. I legit have no idea where it would go. Like I'd have to buy a whole shelf just to hold that thing. 800 for their store? That's crazy. Crazy! This piece, this piece. This little, like, one piece guy.
It's like a, I don't know why I can't find this piece. Yeah, seventy five hundred. The uh, how much was the? How much? I can't remember. I think the rocket one was like nineteen hundred something. It was 1969, was the Saturn rocket. That thing took us forever to finish. I could imagine dealing with 7,500 pieces. That's insane. I had the one that came out like 15 years ago and it dropped by some. I, I this middle part right here so like this is the middle section of the rocket I think I've dropped it like three times and broken the top off and had to rebuild it because I like just wasn't paying attention there's legit a piece in here that I am not seeing oh, wait every all the ones are oh it's one of these up here this is the group up here that I keep forgetting exists, and I, I, I start panicking because I can't find parts. This goes here? Let me check something though. Make sure I was using the right pieces. I was like 10. <laughs> That's a legit Lego set for a 10 year old though. The thing I do like about this book, I don't know if you can tell, I don't know if you can tell by looking at it, but like, yeah, see like right here, it has like yellow and red. Like that's showing you where to put the pieces. I do really, really like that a lot. All right, so, and these are, these are tiny little trees. Yeah, the International Space Station came out really cool. Um, surprisingly, it wasn't it wasn't super super hard. Like there were parts in this one that was really really difficult to get together. Uh, they did a really good job of designing the um, the International Space Station one. It just had some like really cool parts to it. How they like built the thing. that this is the piece I need. Yeah. Does it hang off? Hangs off. I just want to make sure like I'm putting the stuff on like I'm supposed to. Can't see that side. Cool. I think that's right, though. <clears throat> and now, like that's pretty cool looking, though. Look you know how they did the terrain like that. And even some of these pieces are kind of painted a little bit to give it a little, like, grass texture.
It's an interesting piece. All right, so we get this. This piece goes this way. This piece goes off this way. Assuming this is the piece that they're talking about. I definitely have come to the conclusion that for these Lego builds, I'm gonna need to like a I need like another light that's shining right down here so I can see the pieces better. Or change this from a black mat to a white one. Put the wrong piece on there. I think. Not sure where I went wrong. It's like that was an eleven kit. That was almost 10 years ago you were too far oh you said 15 years ago like I can't imagine like like, if some, like, other kid picked up this, my, my Saturn rocket and dropped it, I don't know what I'd do. <laughs> like, I've been, like, super, like, blessed that my kids don't, like, they kind of know, my daughter kind of set the tone of, like, just not messing with my stuff. And I guess she kind of like carried that over into my son as well. Oh, that's sweet looking. Full history of the Millennium Falcon Lego kits. I wonder if you can find like a, uh, like find the instructions somewhere to the Millennium Falcon set and then like slowly buy the pieces to build it yourself. I wonder if like that would be cheaper. We got more trees. Here. I'm serious about it. Like, I, I feel like I've seen people do that before. That would be an insane feat. Because uh, there's a, a Lego subreddit, which you, if, you, if, you are, if you're one, if you're on Reddit. Two, you should go to the Lego subreddit. It's actually got some really cool stuff on there. Like, people build their own stuff, but I feel like I've seen people on there who, like, like start, like, trying to buy pieces together to do a build or something like that. This piece? I legit thought I was going to have time to play video games after I was done with this. Because, like, it's only got... How many pieces does this have, too? It only 
has 300 pieces. I was like, surely we can do this pretty quick. I was wrong. We are an hour and a half in. Just because like there's like there's like 300 tiny pieces. <laughs> Like this, I can't get these two tiny pieces together. There we go. Oh, did not do it. There we go. This one goes to the... Put a nice little tree on the top. Okay, let's not. I legit dropped a just dropped a clear piece. <laughs> let's not lose the clear piece, War Champ. Please don't lose the piece that's clear. Come on. That's pretty cool. So it's like a little floating building on top. I get my dog hair off of it. That's pretty cool. Like I, it, it, that's why I kind of preface it that like, um, I've never like hated any of the Mega Blocks Halo stuff. Um, but they've all been like, here's a Lego set that you can play with as a toy. I never really like had a reason for buying those. Sometimes I did want to buy like the Scorpion, like not the Scorpion, but the Warthogs, and build those and have those like sitting somewhere. But I just never did. I could imagine that this thing's got some very interesting parts. Like, you could like tell that, like these like some of these are not uniform Mega Bloks parts. This is definitely pretty. This is coming together pretty cool though. Not gonna lie, that makes sense. I also like never really had a place to uh, like display that stuff either. Um, and so for the most part, the only Legos we bought were like the build Legos, use them as a toy stuff that my kids would get. That's right. Where I'm like, I'm legit, like, just every time I look at it, I see dog hair. And I'm gonna have to, like, I think you can still see it. I'm gonna have to, like, this is the base for it. And you can see, like, I have fingerprints all over that thing. I'm gonna have to wipe it down <laughs> when I get done with it. Now, that part. Where the darker plates go? <laughs> really tell. Because there's like, there's. There's definitely two different colors of these grates. I'm gonna I'm gonna 
make a wild assumption here. I think is incorrect. Let's make sure. One hundred percent. Actually, they may go on the bottom. That's weird. Okay. These darker ones, for some reason in the book, they colored blue. Those definitely are not blue. The light ones definitely still go here. I'm gonna lie, this looks pretty legit. If I can do it's better here. Like that looks pretty cool. A full ring would be pretty cool. I mean, you could keep going. I mean, it would be. It would be interesting. It would be really sick. I mean, because you could keep going with this thing. Uh, you'd have to have some, like, serious support structure <laughs> to make sure that thing doesn't collapse in the middle. This song seems a little, a little too intense for me. My phone's buzzing like crazy over here. All right, so I think now we're actually building the bottom of it. This. Yeah, a full, a full Halo, like, Lego ring would be pretty, pretty freaking legit. You were definitely not wrong about that. And it would sell, it would probably sell out, like, almost immediately. Also make it so it displays horizontally rather than vertically and put stand points around the outside. Good. You could probably you could probably do it like if you had it like instead of having it straight up circle, like have it lean back a little bit. You know, so it's not completely horizontal, but it's like slanted. And then have different support beams going down to the bottom. You could do it that way. I'm talking like I have any idea how that would actually work. All right, so this goes. It's supposed to stick out like that, was it? Should I use the wrong piece? Now I have to look it up. <laughs> oh, I had to look up into it yesterday. Yeah, I feel like when I first grabbed this piece that it was the wrong piece and I didn't listen to my inner self. Yeah, I think a slightly like tilted back uh, full halo ring with like this kind of detail would actually be pretty sweet. Right, 
Let's try this again. Big way to subdue the impatient people. Wait, <laughs> that's what's funny about this Lego set. Like this Lego set, uh, like all the I feel like all the Mega Construct Lego sets were announced around the same time they started doing the reveal, and so like, who knows when the game's gonna come out now? And I'm literally building a Halo Infinite Lego set, <laughs> like. I think it was supposed to be a little bit closer in uh in release there. Oops. This is this is better. Much better. It is pretty sweet. I think these like pop in like that. Like these balls bottom pop into these hooks. Oh, that's kind of my idea. I think it's going to be like a February or March. We'll see. Hopefully this gives them also more time to do a to do a beta as well. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm really hoping for that as well. A lot. Yeah, that I feel like they will look a whole lot better. I've, like, what's, I mean, it, what we saw in the demo could, I mean, it very well could have been, like, the final product. I'm not, I'm not saying it's not. Um, but that's also kind of, like, a fresh, a kind of a frustrating reality of showing off video games because, you know, like, a lot of games show off stuff that's obviously not the game. Like, they say it's the game, but we know it's not the game, right? Or if it's, like... It's like a PlayStation reveal running on a PC or so whatever. And so like 343 rolls out this Halo demo. <clears throat> and a lot of the stuff, and it's fast forward, I don't even know either. The vast majority of people don't know how video games are made, what timelines are. This demo could have was probably made back in like May, maybe? I don't know. And so like a lot of the stuff that wasn't in the demo is kind of stuff you add at the very end you know like that extra polish stuff i don't know so i feel like the, i feel like they will look better i hope they do look better because they don't in the big yikes but <clears throat> like i hope it's a great game because i freaking love halo I love playing it. I love playing Halo 5. Uh, there's a lot of people that, obviously a lot of people that disagree with that. Um, with whether or not that game was good. I, for what it was, I really, really, really enjoyed it. I played it a whole lot. Demon Cutsies. He was looking really good, though. He was looking really, really good. And I was glad to see, because, like, 343 had been using, uh, um, Blur to make all their cutscenes, which had kind of, like, 
uh, a little bit gotten away from uh, the old Halo way Halo cutscenes were, where they were all in game. There were no like pre-made cutscenes that kind of took you out of the game. And so it's cool to see them kind of get at least look like they're getting back into that. Hopefully. Oh, this there it is. I'm really excited about the multiplayer being free for the game. There were a couple of people that were like, "Oh, yikes! That means it's probably not going to be any good." I don't, I don't think that's the, I don't, I don't think they would make it free for the sole reason that they didn't think it was going to be good. Like that would almost make me think that they would make your chart pay for it because they knew it wasn't going to be successful. Wait, I'm skipping, skipping a step. So like, uh, I th what I think is that the multiplayer, so I think the campaign is gonna be a lot more than just play mission, play mission, play mission, play mission. Like, I, I feel like it's gonna be, I don't think it's gonna be exactly, but I think it's gonna be a lot more like Destiny where you, there's a lot of replayability in the campaign. Um, so I think that the campaign part will be different. Like, it's not just going to be like, here's the story, and that's the campaign. Like, I feel like it's generally going to be like an open world uh, place that you can go and explore. There will, there will be a story in a campaign, but there's just tons of stuff you can do in the campaign world. Um, <clears throat> and I think what the multiplayer is, is the multiplayer is what will get people to buy Game Pass so that they can play the campaign, but then they also get all the other games. So I feel like Microsoft is using it as like a way to get people into Game Pass. The free multiplayer at least. That's me completely guessing. I'm really glad they put these colored. I'm um, that I. Did you mean BR instead of BP? Oh, Halo Battle Pass. Never mind. A lot of people have been expecting a Halo uh, Battle Royale. Um, they have a Battle Pass. Uh, it's free with the MCC. You don't have to pay for it. They kind of have a Battle Pass with uh, in Master Chief Collection right now. But it comes. It just comes with a game, and I, I feel like they're using that to test uh, the functionality of it. Yeah, there's a lot of people that could see a BR. I think, I think if they made an ODST BR game, it would be super, super awesome. I don't think it would work as well if it were like Spartans. You li they literally have a character in the game that drops out of the sky and lands onto the ground. Like, that's a BR. Like, just have people fall down and drop pods? I think people would play it. You already have a good group of sandbox weapons? Yeah, it would be super sick as ODST.
that's looking right. Now we put trees in. And that would really play into the, yeah, the whole open world thing too. Yeah, it definitely would. Like there, there would be a lot of like old Halo heads that would get all upset and their underwear all bunched up because, you know, it, it's not what the game was intended to be, but I think it'd be pretty cool. I mean, I, I'll, ultimately, I'd rather than focus on the multiplayer, like make the multiplayer really good rather than like splitting between two things. Um, but I wouldn't be angry about it. Or trees. Any more? I don't have that many trees left. This is claiming that I have five trees left and I have three. Did I use too many on this one? That is correct. Yeah, the past burn artist stuff, I, I'm I'm in the middle of um, going through the Destiny 2 season pass, and I don't like hate it. Um, like I understand why games are doing it. Yeah, I would definitely feel you on a little bit of a burnout of, of them though. Tree goes here. Goes here. I'm literally missing two trees. It would help if I took them out of the bag. This is definitely much more forgiving than other ones. But also doesn't pay back. Yeah. That's the thing, like... I'm actually surprised that... Like, Bungie's doesn't have the payback that it sh that it could. Like, it's a game of every of having so many different customizations. And I really love the armor that's in the Season Pass this time. And I like the... Um, I'm not going to think it was called. The thing that lets you change the look of it. Whatever that thing's called. Um... But like, yeah, it's, I like that it doesn't like increase a lot every time. It's just the same and you get it, you get it. But like, I feel like they could still do a lot more with, with it than they are. Yeah. Yep, that's true. Like, I don't, I mean, the thing is, like, I don't even play it that much. And I think, right, I'm either at 69 or 70. Yeah, I know, like, tons of people that are just like, I'm like, wow, you're, at, holy crap. Because, <laughs> like, I mean, that's the thing I liked about Fortnite's as well, because it was kind of the same where, like, I mean, with, like, the challenges and stuff that they added, I mean, this was, like, right when they released, but I haven't played it in forever. But, like, the thing I used to like about it is if you got on and you played a little bit and you completed... This is back when they had, like, one list of challenges every week. If you did those challenges, you were going to finish the Battle Pass.
This one should probably be set up that the average person gets in the 90-ish range by the end of the season to encourage potential tier sales. Yeah. Yeah. I agree with that. I guess it ultimately depends on like what Bungie wants to get out of it. Oh, it is 100%. There's a there's a lot in the bungee stuff that I feel could be super overhauled, but I don't I don't foresee them ever doing it. This one will this will hang off a little bit off the back here. Mouse rewards every hundred? Yeah, I can see. Yeah, that'd be cool. I'm assuming that's correct. Let's make sure. That looks like it's right on the... You know, it looks like it hangs out one. That's pretty cool. Right now, I'm just I'm trying to get that. Really, I really really like the Solstice armor this round. Right now, I'm just trying to get through all that stuff. This that's right. All right. That one looks pretty cool too. All right, back five and six. So what's funny is last year's Soltis was also when I gave up the game. Uh. And I was recently talked back into picking it up. Um, and I really like the season armor this round. That's at least giving me something. Uh, and I was just doing a lot of Crucible uh, before the this year's Solstice event. I really, really like the armor, so I really want to get it and try to max it out. Last two bags. Two hours in. This is legit taking a lot longer than I thought it was going to take. Uh, if I can get it open. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's, that's Destiny in a nutshell. Like, Destiny is just FOMO. Like, it's like the biggest FOMO. Because, like, like, you have to just quit. Oh, yeah, 100%. But that game is, like, legit FOMO central. Like, they play off that feeling all the time. 
Because, like... That's what... Because the thing is, like, I don't know how long I'm going to be playing it. Because, like, I feel like with Destiny, it's the only game you can play. Like, if you want to be, to, like, get your, at least for me, for the time that I have to play video games. For me to, to build up my power level to, like, do Iron Banner and... I haven't even done the trials yet. Uh, which I think I'm going to have to... to Fit, finish my armor. Um, like that's the only game I can play. I have no time to play any other games. I mean to push this over there. The new adventure game is looking pretty. I'm like keeping a very uh, crisp eye on it. My, my problem is here. Here is my order of games right now. Uh, Tony Hawk, um, because that was that was my jam for many years. Um, played the warehouse demo; it feels awesome. Uh, and then Cyberpunk, and then is it next week? I was wondering if the open beta was next weekend. I may have to just check it out. Um, I did have Halo Infinite was also on my list of games coming out, but who knows when the world's going to come out. Um, and uh, what was the other? Oh, and then the the Destiny 2 DLC that's dropping in November. So I got September for Tony Hawk. And we'll, like that could legit consume me for all video games. Um, the Warehouse, the Tony Hawk 2... Um, warehouse or Tony Hawk one warehouse demo they just released beautiful beautiful um, I was actually gonna play it after I finished doing this but I may I may just go to bed <laughs> um, and I'm really looking I really want to play cyberpunk so And my son actually has been loving the Tony Hawk game as well, so that's always a plus. That's a, that's pretty cool. Two hours, that's nice. I'm kind of hoping that the uh, Tony Hawk beta, or it's not really a beta, it's a demo. Um, like there's some menu items that are grayed out right now and they show you, uh... all right, let me make sure this is 100% right. Yep. Yep. Um, Wait, did I miss some stuff on this one? Um, like in the Tony Hawk demo, they show, uh, like some skateboards and shirts, but they're all locked behind challenges, but the challenges part in the demo is also grayed out. So I'm kind of hoping that they open it up because the beta lasts for like a month or the demo lasts for a month. Yeah, that the Avengers stuff looked like the, the demo last are the, um, summer games thing I watched, like. Gave me a lot of hope for that game. Uh, and everyone seems to be loving it that's played the demo so far, so. Always, always promising. It 
I don't know if it'll be like a day one purchase for me, but I'm definitely keeping a very close eye on it. like there's a space in between these pieces. I don't see it. This song just popped up. <laughs> Not that I have a hate for acapella, but we're gonna get that song. Oh, here we go. Okay. You like legit making a river? Come on, Mega. I was started off very skeptical with this build, but they have they have definitely done a, a really really good job with this thing. Definitely, definitely done a great job on this one. Can't be mad at it. Literally the only problem I'm having with it is just there's just weird pieces. <laughs> like trying to find all the very weird pieces. Also put like I mean, this is like a very different Lego piece remover than I've ever seen. It's like literally like an all-in-one tool. Although it doesn't do like a good job of getting off like these one piece things right here. This song is just making me feel awkward and weird. It's called Sad Cookie.
Gotta get this piece off. It is not wanting to come off. I guess we'll try from the outside first. Like, I'm afraid I'm gonna like flick it and it's just gonna like take off that way. I'm not, never gonna see it again. I'm trying to be like super, super careful with these. They're so small. Can I do this? That worked. That one at least. Thought I was underneath it. Yeah, there we go. Whew. Like sweating just from taking that one piece off. All right, let's try this again. Got this piece that goes here. I had this one backwards. Can't go there. I had that one right. Uh, and then this one is like a weird slanted piece that I don't see yet. This piece, okay, it's one piece, it's not two pieces. Oh yeah, it goes this way. Now we're getting it. Oh, this was two different pieces. All right, this, these bottom pieces coming off, making me not happy. These pieces. That took way longer than I anticipated it to. I guess why I feel like this build's taking so long because like it's just these tiny, like my fingers are hurting from all these tiny little pieces. It's not even that it's like a difficult build, it's just very like, I think it's very meticulous. Or if I did, let's try, let's try some real quick. Okay, that's as much as I was wondering if I could zoom it in some more. Just kidding.
Making sure I was doing it right. We back. I know I was assuming this is the right piece, but it was not wanting to go in there right. Alright, he gives very specific instructions about which... Okay. About which the white ones to use. You use the more, the steeper slanted ones instead of the less slanted ones. Make sure I use the right one. All right, this playlist was doing really good, and I feel like it's kind of gotten off. It's uh, kind of gotten off course here a little bit. Goes there. It would appear, it would appear. Oh, almost dropped that one. Oh, we got trees. Where do we get more trees from? We got trees? I didn't pour out any more trees. Now I definitely know that I'm out of trees. I have no more trees to spare. There were no trees in that bag. It's saying there's three trees somewhere. Are no more trees in this bag. It is empty. They were literally in the carpet. I am here struggling today, chat. But as of now, <laughs> trees! <laughs> These things are bound in terms of, like, this has been the most stressful part is just finding the trees. Just when I think we're done with trees, they want more trees. All right. Now I can go on to the next step.
This is looking so cool! That's pretty sweet looking. Like each of these pieces looks so friggin' sweet. Now we make Come on. Legit, like, the struggle with tiny pieces is real with this build. That was, like, my only fear when building. I was like, man, this could... Like, I legit didn't think it was going to take... I'd probably be over three hours by the time I finish this thing. Um, I did have, like, a fear the back of the I was like, man, there could be a whole lot of tiny, 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 tiny parts. And that was... A very accurate assumption. Because so many tiny parts. I mean, I guess I should have made like a pretty good assumption of that when I looked at the box. And I was like, 301 pieces. This couldn't be that difficult. Oh boy, could I have been more mistaken. This goes here. I need you to stay on there, sir. Quarter, yeah, that's true. If this bottom part, I have literally had no trouble with the bottom part except for this one. Could you imagine they made, talk about going back, talking about the Halo ring, if they made a Halo ring equivalent of the Millennium Falcon, that'd be like 10,000, that's gotta be like at least 10,000 pieces. That'd be insane. It probably cost way too much money. Something is messed up with this. <laughs> I wonder how I'll struggle with this piece. I had it on upside down. At least I caught it. <laughs> Instead of trying to force it on there that way. 
There we go. Oh, oh. That makes a whole lot more sense. Yeah, it would probably it would probably release at a thousand dollars. I never thought I'd have to take a loan out for a Halo set. I'd have to think about that one. <laughs> there we go. That makes I was I've been having trouble with this piece right here this whole time, and it's because I had it on upside down. Oh, we're doing stuff. We're getting close to the end, chat. We literally got like two more pages. I am excited. Like, I honestly wish DMCA wasn't a thing and I could have just had Halo music playing this whole time. Like, I feel like that would have been the most Halo way of building all of this. Like the mastering kit would just be like that big episode of Big Bang Theory with Time Machine prop. <laughs> I wonder if you could make. I wonder if you. I don't. Man, I don't feel like. I mean, if they were to ever make a Halo ring, uh, you could probably. You could probably get away with selling it like in four separate sets. Like have like the ring split into four and you can buy like just one of them or two of them or all three or all four. All right. So the, all right, all right, we're putting stuff together. All right. So this, goes like that. Make sure. The only part I don't like about how they show these bottom parts is I can't tell exactly where they go. I think it goes like. I think I had this one before. Yeah, that works better. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh chat. Is that right? We did this right. Look at the, I gotta look at the front to make sure. Yep. Look at that. We got one part of it together. This part should pop right in. <laughs> Can I get whatever gasm emotes that you have? Spam it. Spam it! Look at that. Is 
that is that's pretty cool and I'm pretty sure like it literally just pops into the base I could totally see like six of these. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. Not gonna lie. That is a legit, very, very good build. I really enjoyed this. I was hoping I would. Yeah, this is definitely a quality shelf piece right here. I like this a lot. Like even the way, like I don't know how if it translates through the camera or not. But even the way like the terrain. Come on camera, focus in camera, focus! Not on me, don't focus on me, focus on the, this. Uh, like even how the terrain like looks. It was only like 20 something bucks. It was like 25 bucks on Amazon. And it, you can't really tell it too much, but like a lot of these pieces are also like, like some of these pieces have a little bit of like paint splatter on it. So it looks a little like, like real ground. Like the brown pieces and some of these gray pieces up top. I think you can kind of see it on the gray piece. It's a little blurry. That is cool. That is very, very cool. Oh, <sighs> well, I was going to play Tony Hawk. Um, I thought I'd have like an hour or so to do it. Um, but I do have to get up early tomorrow. Uh, so I think I'm going to end it on that. Uh, I am really, really proud of this build. Uh, I'm definitely, let's see what it looks like. We'll put it right here for right now. Right there. Uh, dude, Kevin, thanks for hanging out, man. I really appreciate that. Uh, I had uh, Mr. Squishy came in earlier, saw the start of it. Um, glad you got to come in and see uh, the rest of this build. Um, it is the Halo Forerunner Ring installation. Um doesn't say which installation it is, so I don't know if it's the one that's going to be on infinite or what. Well, I like this a lot. I like it a lot. That came out really, really well. The pictures of it definitely do it justice. Like they didn't like doctor up the pictures to make it look good to sell it. Um, this is actually a really good Lego build. Um, but I'm going to hop off for the night. Um, seeing the big camera view makes me realize that I need to shave. Uh, that's the big thing about like staying home during quarantine is I definitely do not shave as much as I did when I was going into work every day. Um, yeah, thanks for everyone that stopped by and hung out. Um, this is a really fun build. I'm glad I got to do it. Um, a good chance I'll be back on tomorrow. Uh, I'll either be doing Tony Hawk or maybe Destiny unless I get talked into playing something else with people. Um, but anyways... Thanks to everyone that hung out uh, and stopped by. I greatly appreciate everyone's views. I greatly appreciate everyone's subs, follows, hosts, whatever you do for the channel. Greatly appreciate it. We have a very, very tiny community, but we are a very proud community of, uh, of people who hang out every once in a while. Um, anyways, I'll catch you all later. Kevin, have a great rest of your Saturday night. Um, and I will see you guys later. Peace.